I demand respect. respect. <laughs> From the early ages of childhood, we are always reminded to be respectful towards others, especially towards elderly, people in uniforms and authorities. It's very seldom that we ponder over why we respect certain groups of people, individuals and even corporations. As a kiddo, it was a given to show respect for strange people and even addressing them in honorifics. Of course, as you get older, you realize that people take you for granted. And it's like respect from others becomes their God-given right. But what is respect and why it's an important part of social dynamics? First of all, we have to have some kind of respect towards each other in order to coexist in societies. Respect as a concept stems from social contract, unwritten rules that we people have established. Like you forcing an unpleasant stream of bodily air in a company of a fellow human being would be a sign of disrespect. Well, some may call it not caring, but the end result is same. Respect towards a character can be expressed for different reasons, both internal and external values. Respect can be a specific feeling or an acknowledgement of deeds, doings. There's a respect for humanity, treating others like you want to be treated yourself. It's a basic form of respect and actually has become something that we do passively. Humans are animals and just a mere notion of us living in societies. In symbiosis is a sign of mutual respect, even if it's not showcased in any particular way. The next level is to acknowledge the diversity of backgrounds that people come from, being respectful of others' choices and how they proceed to live their own lives. And non-judging respect is crucial in environments where you have to deal or cooperate with others. Mind you, respect in this type of context doesn't mean that you have to agree upon everything. On the contrary, respect is highly necessary when you have different opinions. Then there is a respect for the person's work, what they bring into this world. You might not like a person as an individual, but you respect enough their work to accept them. Actually, there are cases where a person, initially perceived as an a-hole, becomes sympathetic after a while just because their work speaks so loudly. Now I will go through some ways that make one more respectable. And as I go through them, keep in mind it's how others perceive you. And not just that, by having this in back of your mind, you will be able to figure out why you subconsciously respect some people more and others less. They always speak louder than meaningless words. In this day and age, there's so many dreamers and so few doers. We meet these types all the time, telling, bolstering, trying to convince that they can, that they will, and nothing. If you don't hold your word, it's better to keep quiet. Not being congruent with what you say makes a person to appear as a liar. No matter who you are dealing with, these traits cannot pass by unnoticed. Keep in mind, when you treat people with such respect, you signal generosity. People respect generosity and abundance and non-hungry state. We human beings are lazy creatures. We're lazy by nature. The law of energy conservation whispers to our ears to do as little as possible to get by. By working hard, grinding, pursuing, you covertly command respect without even telling anything. People will admire your love for greed and will look up to you because you have a strong will and dedication. Anytime you find yourself being sucked into a dramatic situation, don't go there. Take the higher ground. You should always take the high road and avoid emotional battling at any cost. When you refuse drama in your life, it shows respect towards your own self. Prioritize yourself. When you feel that you are treated unfair, stand your ground. Stand up for yourself and not in an emotional way, rather rational, calm, stable. People will only respect those who have respect for themselves. Being your first priority concerns all situations in life. Speak either positively or neutral about people, occurrences and situations. If you have something negative in your mind, don't talk. Sometimes a habit of the past kicks in and an innocent negativity slips through. Rewind and save the situation, telling that you didn't mean anything bad.
we have to deal with people and it's important to be mindful how we present ourselves respect shouldn't be taken for granted it's a trait earned through consistency of the character being truthful to your own values everyone and everything has eyes and ears when you act in a certain way with a person or during some specific situation keep in mind you always have an audience you can be stripped off all your possessions but your character is everlasting or saying out